<laughs> Look at that. That's all custom built. Whose last name is that? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Mine, babe. Hey, you know, when we talk about hard work and efforts, man, you and I have had a lot of conversations. Going from broke, going for nothing, just yeah. going for it all. To yeah. get into a position where you can help others, help people that, you know, give them jobs. And people are proud to work for your company. Yeah. But, you know, when it comes down to it, you finally uh, did something for you. Yeah. This is the first one. And uh, and I, and I like I always say, a lot of the guys ask, they say, do you like new trucks or you like old trucks? This is 05. I could have bought a brand new one, but you know what? This one's got character. So I like the old trucks, cat motor. I, I mean, I, I just, that, that's my style. I mean, they sell brand new trucks every day. But uh, if I had my choice, I'd rather have an old truck. And, and of course, we got a brand new trailer to go with it. But, but, uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, a lot of people ask, you know, a lot of comments, a lot of questions. People say, well, you know, what are the keys? The keys are, man, if you just treat people right, pay them right, have good benefits, and keep them busy, and be respectful to them, it's, it's just that easy. Just, just do the right thing all the time. You know, was your goal ever to get up to, no. you know, 300 trucks? You don't even have to finish that sentence. No, 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 no. Was it, Troy? No, it was 30. We were going to have 30, <laughs> but somehow we got another zero in there. I, I don't know how that happened. Know so what you think. Follow us on uh, social media, Hater May Mafia. Are you? Darn right. I'm going to write you a check for it. I'm going to take it home. Man, it's not for sale. Yeah, well, we're going to take it home anyway. Every oh, okay. This truck's coming home to me. Hey, <laughs> I hope you got a big checkbook. We're going to get a big checkbook because I'm taking it home. If you get It's your last day. Get the wife on this. <laughs> hey, here you yeah. go. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That was great. Oh, wow. oh yeah. It's my buddy out here. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. great. That's great. Yeah. I had to give him a hard time. Tell us a little bit about the specs, sir. Full custom. Like when we got this truck, um, um, actually, my banker called me and said he had a repo he needed me to buy because nobody wanted to buy it. So I told him, I said, man, I don't want that junk. And so um, being that he got me started in business. I, I kind of had to go get it and uh, get it off his book. So I went and got the truck. We had to tow it because it had no wheels and tires. The engine was locked up. It was, it was. Wait a minute, are you saying this is this truck? This is this truck. So I'll, I'll send you a picture, you drop it in there and uh, and you, you won't believe it. But uh, that story right there is amazing already. So the man that gave you your first loan. Yeah. That helped you out when you had nothing in your pocket. But nothing, lint. nothing. And he asked you as a favor, can you come and pick up this repo for what, a thousand dollars? He said, he said, can you come pick up this repo? I need to get it off my books and it's in a wrecking yard and they're charging me day rate to keep it. And he said, nobody wants to buy it. And I went and looked at it. So I said, well, Patrick, I see why nobody wants to buy it. The motor's locked up. It has no wheels and tires. It didn't even have, I mean, it was crazy. So we, we went and put some some wheels on it, towed it back to the yard, and and uh, and here we are. It was Taz then, uh, but this truck is called Bocephus now. We got that name because my grandpa called me Bocephus my whole life. And uh, what's the name behind that? I gotta know now. I, you know, um, my grandpa liked Hank Williams, and uh, since I I stayed with my grandpa so much growing up, he just started calling me Little Bocephus, and I'm still Little Bocephus. 44 now and uh, and so that it kind of in, in memory of my grandpa you know i i, uh, I named the truck bocephus can you imagine three years uh, from the inspiration of this truck from the man you love the most you know you're one of the men you love the most your grandfather yeah and then the man that helped you get your first loan yeah this this truck is pretty amazing it, it's you. pretty sentimental it, it, it's a lot of sentimental value here that's why it, it won't work it's paid for truck and trailers paid for so um, this truck will be with me forever. 
What's going on, Mother Truckers? Welcome to the Asian My Show. Now, I've been across all of America, and when you talk about the most custom water truck in America, probably the world, I'm looking around. I'm sorry to say, but this is probably the most custom water truck. I gotta have you say it, because if I say it, they're gonna call bullshit on me, so. No, no. <laughs> what we have here today is the most custom water truck in the United States of America. Okay, so did you build it? Well, in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Heath built it. So this man right here? Yes, so, sir. you know, introduce yourself, brother. My name's Heath Martin. I'm with Burroughs Collision Center, Burroughs Truck Truck Shop out of Henderson, Texas. Uh, it's me and my guys, uh, mainly the guys in the shop, it, I kind of oversaw the production and the build of it. Uh, a lot of it was my ideas, working with Troy, trying to figure out, trying to pull things out of his mind and try to actually make it happen. Yeah. And but, uh, but the funny part is, we're fixing to put this on YouTube, and he told me, quote, when he got done with this truck, he was never building another truck like this again. Ever. And now you done put it on that's, the internet that's true. for everybody yeah. to look him up. Look, that's true. Look, that's never, true. never go to this man's shop. <laughs> ever. Never ever go to this man's shop. He don't want to build no yeah. more. No more. He's done. <laughs> Wait up. So so that means that uh, So y'all call Heath. <laughs> yeah, right. The first 20 people to call him get 60 per... No, I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> no, but um, oh my. this is the man behind the work. Uh, maybe we can walk around a little bit. Yes, sir. Hours and hours of this build and you guys working, communicating with each other like happy husbands and wives. I won't say who was who, but was, what I is... Was the <laughs> <laughs> but oh my. I might be the little one. Dude. Right? <laughs> Beat, He's I, the sassy hey, one now. Hey, no, I beat him in arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. Hey, we're going to do arm wrestling match after. Oh that's how that's going to work. But when you saw the truck, oh, really? what was the part of it that just it was really emotional and got, took you back a little bit? What was the part that you just um, saw? So, so he called me when he got to the loop in Carthage, and, and so he we knew he was he was close. So I, I started, don't think he thought I was coming, honestly. <laughs> no, no. No, I knew he was coming because Because Jacob had already called me. Man, you coming? No. <laughs> Because one of my best friends had oh, already, wow. the next town over in Henderson, one of my best friends had already videoed the truck and texted me a video of it coming through the, the town. So I'm like, spoiled well. Spoiled the surprise. Spoiled the surprise. But no, uh, no kidding around. Um, when I saw the truck, I was videoing from way up the highway, so I caught it from the first glimpse. And and because of the name and what the name means to me and, and my grandpa and how much time and effort and passion went into the truck, um, it, it it I had tears in my eyes. I mean, just from the from the finished product, um, he would have if he hadn't been driving the truck to deliver it, if he would have just opened the door and, and the truck pulled out, he would have seen the tears. I mean, it, it I literally had tears in my eyes. I mean, it's 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 everything I wanted. But then when he got there, he started showing me all these little things that he did that he never told me about. Just little little surprise, little freebies. It, it, it just some of the things he did to the truck ideas that, that it just it, it's even better than than what i expected what one of these words mean to you brother doing such means a, a lot no it means a lot man uh, it's been a long journey um the last couple of years working with troy uh, working on this truck working on some of his other trucks uh it's been a pure pleasure this this is hands down i mean other people are gonna get mad at me that we've built trucks but to me this is the next level uh truck that we've built um by far top shelf like to show you this beautiful 2004 Peterbilt 379 owned by Tri-States, Troy Massey. Uh, my name's Heath Martin with Burroughs Collision Center, Burroughs Truck, so truck Shop. Uh, would just like to show you some details about this truck that some people may not notice. Uh, one of the first things that, that I, I love is the way we did the stripes. We were gonna do just silver and with a black pinstripe on the red, and we went in and taped everything back off and shaded around it. I think it added a whole nother level to the paint job. Uh, that's thanks to my, my main man painter, Big Bird. Uh, big shout out to him, looks beautiful. The rest of the truck, the paint job is actually, is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we, uh, the, the truck is sitting really low right now. Uh, it's a custom built air ride that we built there in house, in shop. Uh, truck's sitting down and right, air's up on the touch of a button. Uh, at ride height, ride down the road. Um, keep working around the truck. So. Uh, the mirrors on the truck are, are one-off custom built uh, there by Justin in our shop. Uh, he built them, fitted them on the truck, and then naturally body worked them and painted them. Uh, as you can see, there's no door handles. The doors have been shaved here. 
So uh, just a clean look, gets rid of the door handle, makes it really cool. Uh, you've got multiple poppers to pop the door open in the interior. So all the dash has been completely smooth and painted to match the exterior of the truck, including the floor. Uh, seats were custom done by uh, Texas Skins here in Nacogdoches, Texas. Uh, the interior is a combination of some truck guts and some other stuff that um, Texas Skins did as well. The uh, going on around the truck, naturally there's a lot of just custom touches. Uh, this truck was actually, I believe it was around a two 260 wheelbase. Uh, we've stretched it out. I think it's around 290 now. It was a little stumpy little thing. Uh, had little bitty short squatty tanks on it. So now we stretched it out, make it made it look really nice and sleek and long. Um, working on back, got t custom T-bar bumpers uh, on the truck that was hand fabricated there at the shop. Got uh, fiber tech fenders rear of the truck and the trailer included. Um, Talk about the trailer right now. So uh, Galleon Equipment in Henderson, Texas built this trailer. Uh, it's a custom one-off trailer. It's a brand new trailer. Uh, they, we worked with them in order to do the light setup and the striping on the trailer and then also doing mounting the fenders on the back of the trailer. So we'll walk down it. Uh, naturally, most people have never seen a, a water bottle trailer. Water bottle trailer, quite this nice. It's got a lot of stuff that are that is taken off of it, the catwalks and a lot of other uh, accessories that were done away with on this trailer just to try to make it look sleek and clean um, keep on walking naturally uh, roadworks as you can see all the lights on it uh, with the hero lights it's kind of something new they've been doing we did it in the tailboard on the the truck um, custom water jetted the uh, tri-states logo in the tailboard of the truck don't want to pass that up it's a really cool tailboard The uh, same back here, we tried to match uh, the front uh, fender tailboard along with the rear tailboard, uh, along with the same exact fender, same exact paint scheme on the truck, uh, on the trailer. Um, naturally, the stripe comes all the way down the trailer. Um, man, with this thing at night, when it is lit up, it is crazy looking, beautiful, beautiful. The, uh, the rear of the trailer, most of you, if you know what a water bottle trailer is, it's got so much stuff all over the back end of this trailer. Uh, a lot of that stuff was taken off this trailer, deleted, uh, so that it had the cleanest, sleekest look. Uh, naturally with the tailboard, water jetted, uh, Tri-States logo in it. Same way with the, uh, the Roadworks lights in the tailboard. And uh, this was a really cool feature that we, Troy really wanted this to happen. And Galleon made it happen, but the lights run all the way around. And that is quite a chore because it is completely encapsulated, so the wiring is is rather extensive trying to do it in behind each one of these little holes. It was it was a tough task. Well worth the effort though, and well worth the time. So. What are we working with under the skirt? All right, so we've got a Caterpillar. I know that's a little strange because it's not yellow under the hood, okay? It's red, but don't be confused. It is a cat. But we couldn't paint it yellow in the, underneath the beautiful, beautiful hood of this truck, okay? So the motor was pulled out, a uh, complete cat platinum kit done on this motor. Uh, it is an A-cert. Uh, it has actually had the A-cert delete where it's a, uh, a single turbo setup now. Uh, it's PDI setup, so um, it's stock, man. What's Troy going to tell you? He's going to tell you it's stock, so it's stock, okay? <laughs> with a laugh with that. So all the uh, intercooling pipes have been reworked, um, painted to match. Chrome valve covers, of course, got Troy Massey's name sitting on top of the motor there. Uh, all the air ride suspension was hand-built, uh, custom fabbed in our shop. Let's walk around to the other side so y'all can see the single turbo setup. So this is the PDI single turbo set, swapped out for the twin turbo A-cert setup. So, really cool setup, man. That's good, bud. You did a good job. Thank you very much. I'd like to introduce to you Justin Johnson. This guy, is, I've given him plenty of shout outs in the video. <laughs> talking about all the things that he built on this truck. Uh, naturally, it took a whole shop effort, but Justin had a big part in a lot of the custom fab stuff that we did on this truck. So, um, Justin, I know, give me a little bit of idea. I know on these mirrors, this was something that you came up with, you built them. Uh, we've only done it on a couple of trucks. They've never been just like this one. On this particular setup, they've always been a little different. So, tell me a little bit about the mirrors. Well, I kind of wanted to use some of the factory functionality, like the lower bracket, to mount off of that 
as opposed to just bolting to the fiberglass here on the side. Had to make sure they got far enough out that we clear the clear the stacks and something that just looked kind of crazy and different that really stood out where people noticed that it was completely custom. Um, it the hardest part was running my coax through the through the mirror bars, but I got it done. <laughs> he left a hole like this big, and I kept telling him, I said, how are you going to get the antenna cable through that, man? But he kept telling me, he said, it's got to be small because it's got to be clean. Yeah, so it's just one of those custom things that makes a truck custom. Anybody can go to the chrome shop and buy parts, but when you build parts for a truck, that's what makes a custom truck to me. Love that. Well, right. Thank you, brother. Hey. Yep. Another couple things to give you a good shout out. Uh, Walk up in front, man. <laughs> Come here. You got to get over here by me. So he built all the deck plate on the truck. Um, of course, we can walk around the back, the, uh, the fender tailboard and everything. So when you said your right hand. <laughs> this is my right hand man, okay? Couldn't have done it without him. I told y'all that in the video before, but this is this is his artwork, this rear, rear tail suction. The uh, same way with the deck plate, all that uh, compliments of Justin. Uh, couldn't have done it without him. So we're super, super proud of this build. Uh, all the guys at, at Burl's Truck Shop, uh, that laid a hand on this truck. Very proud of them. Um, glad we glad we actually made it because it was it was, tight. It was down to the wire. Justin <laughs> probably has literally worked a hundred hours each week for probably the last three weeks trying to get this thing built. So kudos to him and the team uh, for actually making it happen. We're here, so excited to see everybody the way the reaction of the truck. And man, I love it. It's a beautiful truck. Very happy to, to say that we were the ones that built it. Thank you, Troy Massey, for doing your thing and allowing us to build this beautiful truck for you. That's cool. Last question. Yep. How the hell do people contact y'all? So you burlscollision.com. We've also got a burlshypnoticcustoms.com. They can check us out. You can Google Burl's Collision. You'll pull it up. My name's Heath Martin. This is Justin Johnson. Look us up. We're in Henderson, Texas. Be glad to do some business with you. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Man, thank you very much. Is that all right? Um, yes, thank you.